Hey everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video, what I want to share with you is how you can use GitHub Desktop to create a new repository on your hard drive and then create the remote copy on GitHub. So first of all, for those that aren't aware of what GitHub Desktop is, ultimately it's an application that enables you to interact with Git in a GUI fashion, so a graphical user interface fashion, instead of using the command line or your browser. And this is a great tool for those that aren't familiar with Git command line or don't enjoy it. It's another way of learning how to interact with Git and GitHub in a best practice manner. So as I said, today I want to show you how to create a new repository on your hard drive using GitHub Desktop and then have it uploaded to the remote repository in GitHub. So let's dive in. So this is GitHub Desktop and when you launch it the first time, this is what you'll see. Now I'm already authenticated in to this, so I've already logged in with my GitHub credentials. If you haven't already done that, then you'll need to do that. Um, if you haven't got GitHub credentials, then you'll need to create those also. But once you're authenticated in and once it has your credentials and it's done a quick sync with the GitHub um, repositories, you'll get this interface. Now what we're going to do is click on create a new repository on your hard drive. So this gives us a dialog box to start to create the repository. So we first of all give it a name. We can then put in a description and this is best practice to put in a description so that you and others can find out what this repository is. We then want to say where we want to store our local copy. Now all my GitHub repositories are stored in a folder on my um, hard drive, so it's D in GitHub, so that's fine, I want to create it here. We have the option to initialize this repository with a readme file, so I'm going to click yes to that. I'm going to um, ignore creating a git ignore file, but you can use this to create um, an ignore file for the type of project that you're running um, and it'll help you along the way. You also have the option here to pick a license. If you're using like an open source project, you may want to have a license so that people understand how they can use it and safeguard your intellectual property. I'm going to pick um, an MIT license and then I'm going to hit create repository. Now what this has done has initialized a folder on my local hard drive that um, has basically initialized that Git repository for me. What I need to do now so that it is available inside GitHub is actually click on the publish repository button. And again, I've got another dialog box here and you have the option either to publish to the public GitHub or GitHub Enterprise, which potentially your organization or your company might use. I'm going to stick with the public one. I'm going to leave the name as it is. So say a new repo. I've got the description here, so I'm going to leave that as. Um, I'm going to take um, this tech box off so is that my um, code, this repository is public and anybody can view it. But if you wanted it to be private, then you would leave that tech there. Now I'm a member of several organizations inside the public GitHub. So I could store it inside one of those, but I'm just going to leave that as is. So I click on publish repository. And after a few minutes, that is now publicly available on github.com. So if we head over, we can see that. So this is my GitHub profile and it's publicly available. And the very first repo inside my list is my new repository. So I can click on that and I can see that that's there. So it's got the, those license files and the readme files that I initialized through GitHub desktop. And I'm now able to start to use that. Hopefully this has been helpful for you if you're new to GitHub Desktop and please do subscribe to my channel as I'm going to do more tutorials on how to use GitHub Desktop in the future. Thank you for tuning in everybody. See you soon.